We just got the sickest nano tank. Are you guys ready? Flip the switch. Boom! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Tank Tuesday. We have some super exciting stuff going down today and we're gonna get to all that. But before we do, I think it's been a little bit since I told you what's going on in the 65 gallon reef tank. Starting off with Mr. Harley Quinn Shrimp. We got good news and we got not so good news and then we got some more good news again and more not so good news. First bad news is I still got so much freaking cyano all over the floor of this tank that I am just not sure what to do anymore. Good news is that Mr. Harley Quinn Shrimp is still alive. He is alive and well and he has come to the front of the rock works so I can actually see him on a daily basis which is cool. Another great point is that he has finally started to eat some starfish. Another bad point is that he is eating them extremely slow. So, um, he's gonna be in here for a while. If you guys are new here, it might be a great time for you to subscribe to the channel. We got new fish videos every single week. You're gonna wanna be here for it. Okay, let's check out the tank. Boom, Mr. Harley Quinn shrimp. Sometimes he disappears, but for the most part, I could look and that has become his cave. He's actually sharing it now with the goby. And uh, I don't think the goby was too happy about it, but yeah, he's, he's been chilling there and it's kind of cool. He hangs upside down on the rock above it sometimes. In terms of coral growth, uh, we still got crazy growth on the jack-o'-lantern. This was like a little frag I made the other day. Hasn't sold yet. I got a still whole plug back there that I just, that's where I chopped from. Zoa Garden is doing good. Check out the Bam Bams. For those of you that have been here for a while, I got these Bam Bams at Reef of Palooza. I paid, I think, 10 bucks for, uh, I don't know, was it three polyps? I can't remember exactly. It was either like three or six polyps. Uh, it was a great deal, and now it is just freaking... It's doing exactly what I was hoping for, and it is taking over that lower half. The rainbow trolls that I have, also, I had four polyps on there. There's like six or seven now, so that's growing really good. My tank literally loves Zoa, so I'm not really sure what I'm waiting on to buy one of those like $300 polyps and just start making bank. Pink hippos over there. Again, I got that as a three polyper, and now we got what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight like nine polyps on this thing. I do want to put another green polyp right, uh, like right here. I think it's too much orange on this block and I want to kind of, you know, green and green in the orange. I think it would look dope. I think the, I think they're called in incinerators. I want to kind of put those there. I'm thinking, I'm not, I'm not sold on it yet, but I think that would be a super sick spot for them. So that way it kind of ties it together with the green on, on both sides. After months, I finally got this blue guy to, glue down to the rock. Every time I would glue him, he would just pop off and it would drive me crazy. He'd roll all over the tank. He's finally onto the rock and it looks like he's growing like his little brothers over here, brothers and sisters. The homies down here still, not you, hello Mr. Tang. The homies down here still love the Duncan. They're chilling out. We are doing all right on the New York Knicks torch. It's a little little right now just because the lights kind of turned on maybe like 45 minutes ago or so. So he's still getting opened up. And then check out how much growth we have on the season's greeting. Remember, it was all killed by the anemone, and there was like one tiny little piece that was left hidden under the rock, and it has been slowly growing back and recovering over its entire tracks, which is super sick, and I'm really excited that it wasn't completely killed off. One thing I didn't mention in the giveaway video, since there are a lot of you guys that are local, if you're interested in any frags, make sure to shoot me a DM on Instagram at Living give you guys the YouTube subscriber discount or something. I don't know, work something out. But if you guys are interested in any frags, let me know and yeah, let me know. So that is basically the update on the tank. Everything is going good. Loving the in-tank media basket in the back. It is just so much easier. Last water change, I actually pulled it out like I said I was going to do and sucked out all of whatever was back there, all the guckamonga. I'm telling you, I don't even know what how that got back there. Like, little kids could have had built sand castles with all the sand that came out of there. It was just piled, and you just see all of it coming through the tube. Solid stream of sand that was just getting sucked through the tube. I did a whole 10 gallons. I thought I was only gonna do five in the back. I ended up doing the complete 10 gallons just in the back chambers because it was so bad. It was disgusting, but I feel a lot better now. You're about to get better too because we're about to go into the real reason you guys clicked on this video. That's right. I got a nano tank. There it is, right there. A little three gallon nano tank. 
Marine land, heck yeah, dude. I have wanted to get a nano tank ever since I saw them for the first time at Worldwide Corals in Orlando when I went to Reefapalooza. I know it doesn't seem like that long, but you know what, life is short and we just gotta jump on stuff when we want it. I was waiting for a good excuse because then I got the jellyfish tank and I was like, this is like back to back tanks. It's just a lot, you know, I'm, I'm setting myself up here, but I'm not really thinking about like the maintenance on everything. So, I mean, we'll just cross that bridge when we get there. But for right now, Harley Quinn shrimp was the perfect reason to get this tank. My original intention was to have the Harley Quinn shrimp in my tank, have him eat all the Astrina starfish. And then once he was done in there, I was gonna move him into the nano tank and that would be super sick because you could see him better and he won't like hide out. However, with the recent turn of events being that he is eating them super slow and he might not even be able to come out, I'm not really sure what's gonna go on in here right now. I do have a pretty dope list of of things and contenders that I could put in here. If you guys have a nano tank or you have recommendations for good things to put in nano tanks, inverts or fish or, I know fish can't really put much, but if you guys got some recommendations, drop a comment down below and let me know. I've been doing some research. There's a couple really cute things that I found and I'm kind of really excited to put them together. But what's gonna make this tank extra, extra special is that we are gonna be doing a floating reef. That's right, we're gonna be doing a floating reef in a 3D island nano slash pico tank. Technically, I think it's called a pico tank since it's only three gallons, but whatever, let's check out the tank. I went with the Maryland tank for a couple different reasons. I'm a big fan of the all-in-one tanks. Two, it's got rounded edges. It is freaking cheap. It is only like 60, 70 bucks. Oh! The excitement is real, ladies and gentlemen. The excitement is real. Boom, oh, this was another reason I went with this one. There are just so many good points about this tank. It's glass, which is good. I didn't really want acrylic. And it comes with this lid. A lot of them don't come with like the top part. And I'm trying not to have all my stuff evaporate and get everything salty. I like, I, I prefer covers. It's just what I prefer. And this one comes with it. Boom. So tiny. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. This thing is so sick. It's like a little stand that you put under. That is awesome. It does come with this LED light, which is gonna be fine for now. And I'm sure if you're not growing anything like high light, it would be okay. However, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up switching to the Kessel A80 Blue. That's what I've seen on these tanks at Worldwide Coral. A couple of other nano tank users and stuff like that use the A80s. Everybody seems to like it. It looks like it does a good job. So I will probably end up switching to that pretty soon. We're just not there yet. We got a couple steps left in this nano tank. I don't know if I should call it a nano or a pico tank. What do you think? Check it out. All the corners are rounded like my Red Sea. Good thing I got that in tank scraper. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Glass, so I don't gotta worry about it scratching. Oh, it comes with the whole little, oh! I didn't even know that was back there. So we got this little filter, which obviously I will probably end up replacing with just filter floss. And then it came with this. We got the whole chamber down there, so if I wanted to, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming if I want to throw some sort of rocks or something down there, I could probably do that. I haven't really looked too much into it. Or I would probably put them here so that way it stays like contained within this little slider. This is dope. This is like a little mini in tank, but just not. Look at this cute little pump. And it already has the little adjustable nozzle so we could decide where we want the flow to go. I don't know if this thing pops. Oh yeah, it probably pops out this way, but we're just gonna leave it on there. So it goes on here. And then the best part is they made it so that it's slidable. So that way you can, you don't have to take the whole thing off to feed. Well, this would be back here, maybe like that. I'm not really entirely sure. Oh yeah, so then it lifts when you do it, wow. These people literally thought of everything. How is this tank under $100 with all of these features? Like, this shit's crazy. So when this is latched onto here, right, so that it, it, it still covers your back filter filtration area, right? You've got a little hole here, but that's okay. Your light goes onto there like that. You can move it around wherever you want. And that's also good because I believe the Kessel A80 also has like a, a clampy clamp arm that then comes up. It goes a little higher because it's stronger. But anyway, same concept. It will go in that little spot, right? Boom, it's time to feed. This is how you keep the tank normally, right? Everything's closed off, minimal. Uh, what is it called? Precipitation? I don't know what it's called. Uh, evaporation. That's the one. Open. Oh, the secret door just lifts up for this glass to go under. Ready? Open. Close. Open. Close. Look at that. That is just out of this world. Nano display tank. 
putting them next to each other, this thing looks massive. I didn't even think I was ever gonna have a saltwater tank again after my bio cube from years ago, but yet here we are with a 65 gallon display tank. Now we just got a nano tank, a three gallon like solid little nano tank that we we're gonna make super dope. And then not only that, the jellyfish are thriving. How did I go from no tanks to two saltwater tanks and a jellyfish tank? Look what you guys are making me do. And spoiler alert, I'm pretty sure I can't just stop here. We just gotta keep on climbing. So make sure you guys subscribe so you can be along for the ride. I had a couple options of where I was going to put this nano tank. Option number one was right here on the other side of the jellyfish tank. However, the fam wasn't too keen on it and I feel like I just added the jellyfish tank and I had to pull a couple arms and legs to be able to put the display tank. So I was just like, let me just put it in my room. Like, let me just, I don't, I don't, I don't really like, like it in my room, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna send it. This nice stand right here is going to be the best option. I'm like an old person with all my lotions and stuff, but whatever. It will be kind of dope with the uh, Dream State logo. Have this on blue, have that on blue. It will work out nice. So we gotta clean this all out so we can put the tank right there. Boom, that is like the perfect little spot for it. I can still put some stuff on my nightstand. That's gonna look really cool once we got it all set up. So we got the placement. The one thing that I haven't done yet is given this tank a water test. Now let's face the facts. It is a super cheap tank. There is a possibility that it would leak. Let's find out. I am a little nervous, but I feel like we're gonna be all right. So far, so good. Halfway, we're about to hit the min line. I definitely wanna take it to the max though. We are holding water. I don't see any leaks happening at any of the seams. That thing looks super dope. I think it's safe to say that this thing is holding water. Since I'm doing the floating reef in this aquarium, which look how tiny it is. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, but we're gonna make it work. But since I'm doing that in this nano tank, I'm not going to fill it with water right now because I need to have that out in order to do the silicone backing and have all the rocks cure and that's a whole nother process. So that guy could be in there. Little pump is gonna drop on down. That's the light. It's actually a pretty nice little light. I wonder how strong it is. Just slide that guy in, make sure everything's working good. And then we just gotta plug the light in. Are you guys ready to flip the switch? Boom! Oh, that's all blue. That is sick. And then we go boom, white and blue. Boom, back to blue. That is freaking something else. This is just the dopest little tank ever. And I'm gonna have a little floating reef in here. Come on. Boom, white and blue. Boom, blue. <laughs> we got the sickest setup. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually more impressed with this little light than I thought. Like, it doesn't look too powerful, but just the uh, dope factor. Like, it looks really good, especially with my white furniture, like, and the glass under here. This is gonna be actually really freaking dope once it's all set up, and I am... This just got me so much more excited for it. The nano tank is officially set up, and I could not be more excited for it. It's official. I own a nano tank, pico tank, whatever you want to call it, for the first time ever, and I am ready for the challenge, or at least I think I'm ready for the challenge that this is about to... Bring. Apparently they're a little bit harder to maintain. I did have more trouble with my 14 gallon bio cube than I do with my 65, but we'll see. Maybe it's so tiny that it doesn't like fit into that little category. I don't know, but we're gonna be doing some dope stuff with this reef. Next time we're probably gonna be starting the floating rockscape for it, which I'm going into blind. I've done a little research on it and I think I could do it. I got the supplies. I'm just, just kind of mapping it out in my head and making it work, but we are going to do it on this channel and then from there we are going to stock it up. Luckily I have the 65 so I'm going to use some sand from there because it's only going to be like, what, two pounds of sand. And then I'm also going to use my water change water from my 65 into this tank so that way I have a bit of a, a smaller cycle hopefully and then that way we'll be boom boom ready to go. So if you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single week. You're going to want to be here for it. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Later.